Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back everyone. Nice to meet you again all. Uh, today, inshallah, Rabbi Alameen, uh, we will complete talk about the periodic table. Uh, we take a very little bit uh, uh, information about the periodic table yesterday. Uh, today, we'll complete more and talk more about the periodic table, okay? Uh, okay, but at the beginning, let me to ask you some questions about the periodic table. We have some things we take before, okay? Now, if you look over in your book, you can see this periodic table uh, colored. We have this, all these boxes uh, colored. We have berber color, green color, and the uh, yellow color. Okay, uh, now what does it mean? What the meaning of berber color or yellow or green color? What does it mean? Anyone have an idea, guys? All of your answers are right. Very amazing answers. Now you can see that the, bro the, the berber one is metals. The uh, uh, green one is non-metal and yellow one is the uh, metalloids. Okay. Now by this table, you can understand more about the elements. If you look over also for the symbols, you can see that the symbol black symbol, it means the uh, solids and the uh, blue symbol it means uh, liquids and the red one it means gas okay now you can understand more about that when we color the symbols and elements and boxes in this periodic table very simple very easy now scientists build this table to understand more about the elements okay now let me to ask you some another question now how uh, how many of the liquids do we have in this table okay now you can count the uh, liquids elements in the table and tell me on chat please answer on chat how many elements in a liquid state of course if you are talking about in the temperature room in the, the the normal state the normal state for this element in temperature room how many elements do we have in liquid state now if when you look over for this table you can see that we have here just two blue things we have this mercury and the bromine okay this is the blue one just we have two blue elements we have just two liquid elements in the normal state or in the room temperature okay it, it will become the uh, it will become liquid in normal state okay I want to tell you something guys by this periodic table to be easier to understand and memorize all the elements and also to understand more about the properties for each one okay because that they built this periodic table to understand more about that okay now uh, let's uh, talk more about that okay now let me to ask you the last question about the periodic table and after that uh, uh, start with our new lesson okay as you see here guys we have here gold you can see that at the beginning this gold gold g o l d why they called it a U A U. It should to be G, for example, should to be G, okay, or G O. The uh, and and I said that before. The first letter should to be capital every time, okay, uppercase. The the first letter should to be capital every time. Why we called gold A U? Anyone have an idea, guys? Because that we called gold in uh, a o u because of the latin language in gold by latin language is orum orum you will take a and u and call it the symbol of the uh, uh, of this uh, gold okay now uh, let's talk more about the periodic table we have numbers here up one two three four five what is that number we have here also numbers up for each element what is that number we we'll explain that more now now we will read the book to understand more about that okay so now we said that uh, nearly 150 years ago we have russian uh, scientists or russian scientists called dmitry mendeleev he made a very simple table and collect all of the elements he knows and uh, he uh, put all of them in the table and he uh, put these elements based on the properties of elements he don't know he didn't know a lot of uh, a lot of uh, information about the elements but he he known just some properties of this element and make this table called the periodic table nowadays the scientists will discover more elements and discover a lot of properties of these elements and uh, this nowadays called the same 
periodic table, but of course it will be called a modern periodic table. Modern periodic table. Okay. Now let's explain more about periodic table, uh, uh, and that is the modern periodic table. Do we have? nowadays okay now let's explain more okay the first thing i will explain now that is number uh, above this symbol up here okay let me to show you okay now can you see these numbers we have here numbers above each symbol 19 20 21 22 23 okay what is this number this number is called atomic atomic number okay atomic number okay guys now this atomic number in fact that is proton numbers proton numbers okay what does it mean also what are the protons protons it will be inside something called a nucleus a nucleus inside the atom we take atom before guys right inside the atom we have very dense and very uh, 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 massive particle that is called nucleus this is called here nucleus okay nucleus let me try it again okay uh, nucleus guys nucleus okay nucleus it will be very massive part it means very heavy part in the atom okay inside this nucleus we have borotons that is the number here number of borotons Okay, because that in the book he will say that this uh, uh, a number were related with the mass because the mass in the nucleus and inside the nucleus you have protons. Okay, you can write that down in your book. You can write here down the uh, uh, the atomic number. You can write here down, guys, in your book. You can write here at atomic number that is number number of bro. Tones. And what are they made of? And what's that? Let us see. When you think of an atom, you probably visualize something like this. Okay, guys, that is the atom. And that is the nucleus in the center of the atom. And around the atom, we ha around the nucleus, we have electrons. And inside the atom, we have protons and neutrons. We have protons and neutrons. Listen. On the outer side, you got negatively charged electrons. In the center, you have the nucleus made of neutrons that have no charge and protons which have a positive charge. This more Okay guys, that's the point. Now we have protons and protons inside the nucleus and because of the nucleus it will be the massive part or, uh, or all of the mass of this atom will be inside this nucleus this all of the mass for the atom uh, most of the mass of the atom will be inside the nucleus we will say that these protons were related with the mass for the atom okay anyways you should understand that very well the uh, uh, mass or uh, the uh, this number just a minute guys i want you to understand that the atomic number that is related with mass and also the atomic number that is the number of the boroton inside the atom okay in the periodic table we have approximately 118 elements in this table in fact guys in, in some edition of books have a problem or have mistake for this point you can see that from this table we have 118 elements in this table we have 118 elements in this table now the scientists nowadays rearrange the the elements uh, by the atomic number uh, and also they will put all of them in this table and they discovered 118 elements 118 elements okay uh, uh, some edition in books written like that 112 elements that's strong guys that's strong okay uh, like my book my book is old edition my book is old edition now i i will i will uh, uh, correct it now okay look over in my book it's written 112 it should to be 118 not 112 it should to be 118 if you if you have like me 112 change it please 118 118 
Okay, guys. Now, also, in the periodic table, we have something called period and grooves and columns. Okay? Look over, guys. Can you see the numbers up here? We have numbers up. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 18. Okay? These called grooves. These called grooves. Okay? Or also called 18 column or 18 groups. We have 18 columns or 18 groups. Okay? Now, this is vertical groups. Each one of these called a group. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, till 18 groups. We have 18 groups or 18 columns. Okay? Now, in other hand, horizontally, we have seven periods. We have seven periods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven periods or row. Or row. We have periods or row here. Okay? Now we have 18 grooves or column and seven periods or seven rows. Okay? That is this uh, uh, periodic table. And also, guys, by the way, now these grooves. Uh, uh, these grooves it will be very close from each other from their properties. They are very close. Okay. If you look over for this, for example, you can see that these called noble gases. Noble gases. Okay. All of these noble gases are gas, and they do not make any reaction with another gases in an, in uh, in uh, for all of this uh, for all of this table. Okay, now they are very close from each other in their properties. If you look over for period, uh, for group one, group one, they are very close from each other. And the group one will combine every time, make reaction, make reaction with, with group 17. Okay, can you see that, guys? When we, when we said that the group, all the elements in the group will be very close from each other from their properties. Okay, guys? And even the rows, guys. Even the rows. Now, if you look over here, this iron, cobalt, nickel. Also, they are very close from each other from their properties. If you look over for iron, cobalt, nickel, all of them are a magnet. Okay? All of them can be uh, attracted by the magnet. Okay, guys? Now, that's our information, basic information about the periodic table. Of course, we have a lot. Okay, but we will take that today and complete tomorrow, inshallah, Rabbil